And welcome back to the Daily News. We have Haley Hughes with us now. As you know, she's from the, the Buford Jasper Water and Sewer Authority. We've got lots of topics to delve into. We're going to start with hurricane preparedness. So go for it. All right. Well, we want to remind customers that hurricane season lasts until November 30th. And I'm going to give you some good tips on how to prepare for a hurricane and what to do in the event of an evacuation. Okay, but first let's... things first, Yes. please visit the South Carolina Emergency Management Division's website and find out what your evacuation zone is. Secondly, they also have a really good resource, their annual hurricane guide. It's going to give you tips on how to prepare an emergency kit should you need to evacuate. We also want to make sure that you call our office and give us your mobile telephone number. That will help you stay in touch with us if we okay. need to reach you if you're out of the area. Okay, very All good. All right, so moving on. In the event of an evacuation, hopefully that won't happen. We should have a, mm -hmm. uh, a quiet hurricane season. <laughs> but um, in the event <laughs> of an evacuation, you'll need to shut off the water to your house using your main shutoff valve. If you have an older home, that's probably going to be in your yard, and you'll need um, a special tool to shut that valve off. If you have a newer home, it's probably going to be somewhere inside your house, close to your water heater, probably. Okay. okay. All right. So you want to make sure that you have um, non-breakable containers filled with potable water. That will be your drinking water. Mm -hmm. And you want to make sure that if you can, fill your tubs with water before you leave your home, because that will, can be used for um, hygiene and cleaning purposes once you return to your home, if mm. need be. Okay. You want to make sure that if you do evacuate, you stay tuned um, to our website and our social media channels, because we can give you updates on when it is safe to come back and what service disruptions there may be happening um, once you do come back. Very good. We want to assure you that in the event of an evacuation, we always have a stay behind crew that will make sure that water and sewer operations continue as they should. But if there is an evacuation and you come back, there may be some service disruptions. There may be some discolored water. There may be some water shutdowns. And we just ask that you um, be patient with us if that if that should happen. And, uh, you know, right. Be, be rest assured that in that event, if there are service disruptions, that we will get crews out into the field and responding to those as soon as possible and as safely as Thank possible. You. Thank you, Haley. Great information for us. And I like how you yes. kind of move through it step by step. Excellent. Yes. Let's let's change uh, the topic now and, and talk about irrigation. We have about a minute and a half left. So where are we with watering our, our lawns? All right. Yes. Yeah. So um, it's hot outside, right. <laughs> but we have received a lot of rain recently. Mm -hmm. So you may not need to run your irrigation system as often as you think. We do recommend that you follow our schedule. That information can be found at bjwsa.org. You can request a free irrigation uh, sticker to remind you of our schedule. And a good rule of thumb, if you're wondering whether or not you should water, is go out into your yard, step on your grass. Okay. If it springs back, it, it has plenty of water. It doesn't need to be watered. But if it stays kind of crumpled up right. and is dry, then you can run your irrigation system. Very good. And then quickly to wrap up, Eye on Water app. Remind us yes, about Ion that. Yes, Eye on Water app. It's absolutely free. You can get it on your desktop computer or on your mobile phone. You can also find that information at bjwsa.org, and it helps keep track of your water usage. It's right there. It can detect a link and save you money if it um, detects a link. So you can excellent. get that addressed. Excellent. Good job, Haley. Lots of excellent information. Appreciate you and everything that the Buford Jasper Water and Sewer Authority does for our community to keep us yes. safe and healthy. Well, thanks. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Okay. Thanks, Haley. Have a good, All have a good week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Coming up after the break, Walter Wheeler will join us. He's with Heroes of the Low Country. He'll be talking about scholarships for local students. Stay tuned.